Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Armageddon. What do you know about this movie? This won our disaster film Patreon poll. Yes, so we would like to thank our patrons for voting for this to win our disaster Patreon poll. So that's all I really know. It's a disaster film and I think it stars Bruce Willis. Okay, and we've had Bruce Willis a ton on the channel. Yes, still probably a ton to get through in terms of Bruce. Yeah. But his movies are always fantastic, so I'm excited to see him again. We are in the midst of a unusual weather situation. We're kind of experiencing a hurricane. <laughs> Not that big of a deal, but it's pretty fitting for us to be watching Armageddon during a moment where we are having a hurricane where we typically don't have those. Yeah, we live in Southern California, so <laughs> there was either like panic or you're not doing anything. So now we're just kind of waiting to see what's going to happen. Yeah, as long as our power <laughs> stays on, then we're good to keep recording. Yeah. Also, I have seen this movie. It's been a very long time. I don't remember anything except for the very ending. So I will make sure I am very careful not to spoil, but I genuinely think the majority of this movie is going to be a surprise to me because I probably saw it when I was a kid. I think this came out like 1998 or something. Okay. So I probably saw this when I was like, whatever, 10 years old or younger or something on TV and you know wasn't really paying attention or something like that so yeah. the only scene i really do remember is the end so i'll just be careful going through but we'll consider this just your first time watching i'm excited i don't really know anything else about the film <laughs> i don't know what type of disaster i would assume it's weather related but maybe it's not <laughs> i don't know i can't tell you so <laughs> so i'm excited to see bruce willis again though so if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. The Earth, at a time when the dinosaurs roamed a lush and fertile planet. Sorry, dinosaurs. <laughs> Piece of rock just six miles wide changed all that. Six miles. I didn't know this was a Michael Bay film. Starting off with an explosion, classic Michael Bay. A trillion tons of dirt and rock hurtled into the atmosphere. Jeez. It happened before, it will happen again. Okay. So, now you know. Yeah, so a meteor. Give me 10 seconds. Hey Pete, it's Truman. Hey. Billy, Billy Bob. Bob. If you'll calm down just a little bit. Can you do that for me? Whatever you say. Suggest we start reeling Pete in. Ooh. Damn. Pete just got wrecked. Okay, all of them did. Damn. Multiple tracks headed towards the Atlantic seaboard. This could be a surprise missile attack. Ben Affleck. <laughs> Mr. President, the shuttle Atlantis just exploded in space. Yeah, so is it like a meteor coming? This cast is stacked. It is. So, and you have like the debris from this ship. Right. Also, my issue with boat and ship is going to continue with my issue with comet and meteor. Oh. <laughs> You've been saying meteor a lot. Is it a comet? I have no idea. <laughs> Steve Buscemi. I don't know what this is, but it looks like something's burning up there. Get those names of those guys from NASA. Excuse me. Go get my goddamn phone book. <laughs> get the book. <laughs> get the fucking book. We go to DEFCON 3. DEFCON 3. We go to the top, baby. Big time. Oh, fuck. I forgot his name. Oh, and I forgot the movie that I really love that he's in. Oh, my God. I thought he was going to be in this movie, not get hit immediately. Oh. Oh, no. Little Richard. Oh, my God. Pull him up. Jeez. How many explosions would you like, Michael Bay? <laughs> yes. New York is getting wrecked. Oh. This is absolutely wild. Oh, he pulled him out of the hole. Everything's coming like sideways too. We know they're not missiles. Now what the hell is it? It's a meteor shower. They are meteors. Meteors. I've got the president on Air Force One demanding answers. Is he in the sky? When we know, you'll know. Oh, jeez. 
The person that finds her gets the namer, right? Y yes, that's right. I want to name her Dottie after my wife. The vicious life sucking <laughs> bitch from which the that's, that's sweet, Carl. That's <laughs> sweet. <laughs> 1650. Oh, he is in the sky. Get into a bunker. What is this thing? It's an asteroid, sir. Please. It's the size of Texas, Mr. President. Oh! Is this going to hit us? We're efforting that as we speak, sir. I mean, the one that took out the dinosaurs was six miles. This is the size of Texas. Doesn't matter where it hits. Nothing would survive, not even bacteria. What do we do? Whatever the hell you want. World's over. We have 18 days before it hits Earth. <laughs> yeah, go golf. For 18 days. Number two chewed 180 feet last night. Oh, that's just perfect. In bed. Get up. Uh. Oh. Hi, Harry. I have asked you repeatedly to call me dad. <laughs> Stay right there. I'll be right back. Oh, no. Yeah, right. He screwed up on the job and screwed his daughter. I want every strategy we've got on near-Earth object collision, okay? You know about this, Rock Count? You knew. I, I had no idea. <laughs> he's going to shoot you. No, no, he's not. <laughs> Why don't you put the gun down, You bro? don't want none of this, Bear. <laughs> I to give my man a head start, that's all. <laughs> I don't think you want to kill the best man on your crew. Is he the best man? He already screwed up. <laughs> oh, no. I love her. Way wrong answer. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Laser generator to heat the object to the point of fracture. That's like shooting a BB gun at a freight train dock. It's the size of Texas. I feel like realistically, you should probably try to break it up. First time I got my period, Rock had to take me in tight place for compacts, and then he had to show me how to use them. Oh, I, I told her how to use it. I didn't show her. <laughs> Look at all those nice pipes up there. Listen to me, Grace. No, you listen. They have no idea what's going on. Why don't we just send up 150 nuclear warheads and blast that rock apart? Blow it up. You could fire every nuke you've got at her and she'd just smile at you and keep on coming. Are you suggesting that we blow this thing up from the inside? That's exactly what I'm saying. How? We bring in the world's best deep core driller. So you're going to get to the asteroid and then drill and then explode it. That's the plan. How are you going to get up there? Am I lucky or am I just a genius? I shut it down for a reason, you jackass! Oh... Jeez. Shit, get him out of here. Get him out of the oh shit. Way to go, AJ. You blew this whole place up. Somebody could get killed out here today. You want that on your conscience? Hi, Pop. You are mad, Harry. I'm tired. <laughs> they liked it. We fired. I need you to get on that chopper right now, no questions asked. And I swear to God, she never told me her age. Relax. It's about me. Oh. <laughs> Damn, Steve. What the fuck? On one condition, we we'll have to take my daughter along. Get her away from AJ. On behalf of all of us, I'd really like to apologize. apologize. We've been apologized to for the last 18 and a half hours. It's already been 18 hours to get here? For the next 15 days, the Earth's in a shooting gallery. Damn. Half the world's population will be incinerated by the heat blast, and the rest will freeze to death from nuclear winter. Not a soul on Earth can hide from it. Space is so scary. Why'd you guys call me? You're the best driller. <laughs> we need you to train them down here. What's your contingency plan? No, we don't have a backup plan. Yeah, this is it. These eight Boy Scouts right here, that is the world's hope. That's what you're telling me? Yeah. <laughs> Not much hope. If I do this, I'm going to want to take my own men. You got it. You see, Bear, you tell him Harry's looking for him. <laughs> He's going to put his team together. Come and get Papa Bear. <laughs> what? Are you in trouble with the law again? <laughs> Call him Hound because, well, um, he's horny. See those diamonds? It's not a diamond. Would you like another drink? Yeah. <laughs> not that. We have a national security map. I didn't know oh, how showing you. <laughs> how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Owen Wilson. Who's AJ? I thought you said you couldn't trust him. I thought you said I could. Now you need AJ. There's actually a job that Mr. Big Nuts Harry Stamper can't handle by himself. Oh my God. There are only uh, five words I want to hear from you right now. AJ, I really look up to you. <laughs> it's a lot more than five <laughs> words. There's not a job on the planet that I would want you to work with me on. <laughs> True. But space. The United States government just asked us to save the world. Oh 
there. I'm with you. Amen. All right, then. Got their team. Now they just need to learn how to be astronauts. <laughs> They'll do it. They've made a few requests, though, such as <laughs> there's a few things here. <laughs> just a few? Uh, Oscar here has got some outstanding parking tickets. <laughs> Max would like you to bring back eight track tapes. Not sure if that's gonna work, but uh, hey, you guys wouldn't be able to tell us who actually killed Kennedy, would you? <laughs> this is NASA. White House. White House. <laughs> Stay in the Lincoln bedroom of the White House for the summer. For the summer? None of them wanna pay taxes again. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> That's a good request. I mean, they gotta be successful, or otherwise everyone's just gonna die anyways. Oh, gee, lady, I just came here to drill. Oh, so did I. <laughs> Up your ass. Whoa! Why do I do this? They let me use explosives, okay? Heart, lungs, liver. You shove that all in the sheep's stomach, then you boil it. <laughs> just a little emotional right now, okay? Can I, like, get a hug from you or something? <laughs> Woman with large breasts. <laughs> Chronically horny. What comes when the World Series? Ah! Oh, what a mess. I don't know how they survived the test. <laughs> Approved. <laughs> Titanium alloy impenetrable skin covers the toughest, meanest, most sophisticated space vehicle man has ever made. Damn. Thought you guys should meet. <laughs> yeah, can you get along? All these rubber hoses gotta go, Max. Count them up. Make sure it's short throw shifted. <laughs> Tearing this shit apart. Oh, easy on me, okay? It's my first time. When you squeal, you're just gonna go faster and harder. Jeez. I feel like they should give him some ketamine till they're up there. <laughs> Something gets launched off that asteroid with enough force, it's gonna keep on going. What is the deal? Is it just me or is Watts really hot? <laughs> if I were to kick you in the balls, mm. what happens to you? I float away. Yeah. When do we start training for that? I feel like this is gonna be bad. So many tiny particles too. Both shuttles will take off, dock with the Russian space station, then you'll release and take a 60 hour trip toward the moon. Damn, so much time. Burn your thrusters, slingshotting you around the moon, and you'll land right here. And a remote detonate the bomb before the asteroid passes this plane. If the bomb explodes after zero barrier, it's not enough. Yeah, you just double tap the earth. Seen Grace? Yeah, she's over in the hangar with AJ. Oh. What a sight. Will you marry me? I mean, you only have a few days left. Once we land, we'll have eight hours to get the job done. We're gonna have to drill to 800 feet. 800 feet doesn't seem that far for an asteroid the size of Texas. Like that's such a tiny amount compared to the overall scale of it. Well, I guess if they're in the right spot, it should be enough to break it. Hey, Jay, you're at 600 feet. Your pipe is long. Let's back the RPMs down to 8,000. Damn it, 11,000. Slow it down, AJ. Here, come on, get on our team for a little bit. A lot of fighting. You gotta listen to me. When we're on that rock, you gotta do what I say. Number one transmission is down. Oh, son of a... If you want to replace a member of the crew, now is the time. Those men in that room have zero tolerance for showing off, trying to be a hero. You got that. Jay, Jay. I got it. I want my men to have tomorrow night off. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. Got their night off. Yeah. I mean, really, at this point, how much panic could they cause even <laughs> if they did open their mouths? I was just passing by on there. Uh, I came. Who's he? Huh. I assume your daddy? can't come around like this. The court says you can't. I know. I just, I wanted to say that I'm sorry. Would you just give him this? Oh, that was nice. Two very different scenes. <laughs> Mission specialist. What's that mean? I don't know. <laughs> You're hogging all the action. Why don't you go buy yourself a neck? Hey, Mr. Clean. Damn. <laughs> <sighs> a bar fight before? Coming in at 30,000 miles an hour. Give me a projected impact. East Asia, 11 minutes. Whoa, what? Get a piece of it? Oh, fuck. Bye, Asia. It's gonna be hard for the world to not know what's going on now. Oh. So the whole world knows. I wanted to be one of those guys with a mission patch on my arm, but 
I tell you, I'd be on that shuttle with you if I could. <laughs> I mean, he's pretty critical down here. Yeah. Well, good luck in Florida tomorrow. The death of 50,000 people in Shanghai yesterday. 50,000? 50. I've just learned that NASA is on a full-scale military alert. I shouldn't have dragged you around on all those oil rigs. I love everything about my life. I don't blame you for my mother leaving. Promise me that you'll come back. I promise, Grace. The two people she loves the most in the world. Both going up. Can you yeah. please bring my fiance home with you? <laughs> the president will be addressing the nation and all of you personally within the hour. Damn, if it's like made public who this team is. I mean, they did a good job keeping it a secret for as long as they did. And I mean, they would have succeeded had there not been... Like a little fracture that came and hit. Yeah. I'm marrying you. Bet you <laughs> Man, they better come back. The Bible calls this day Armageddon. Everything that can be done to prevent this disaster is being called into service. First our souls <laughs> and elevated our species above its origin. God speed and good luck to you. Damn. But imagine this not being publicized and you're just like walking out there and no one knows. Yeah. We are T minus two hours of the program home. So it's whoever lands successfully first, right? They're not trying to land them both. I think it's whoever drills to 800 feet first. Oh, okay. Like 98% excited, 2% scared. <laughs> it could be 98% scared, 2% excited. <laughs> Will you make mine really tight because I don't want to fall out. <laughs> All crew members, close and lock your visors. Even just like wearing a hat sometimes could make me feel claustrophobic. <laughs> like it's cutting off my vision. I can't imagine a helmet. Your whole body. I know your whole body, yeah. And I feel like for as much as they're, they've been training, like 12 days did not prepare them for what it's really gonna feel like. Oh yeah, no, not a chance. Houston, the tower is clear. They're all yours. Space. Cosmonaut on board has been on that tin can for 18 months alone. So don't be surprised if he's a little off. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> this is a Russian space station. Can you hear me? Stand by. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> First phase of docking procedure. Switching to manual. Can you imagine trying to, like, I can't even parallel park. <laughs> no, yeah. Parking a... Like everything's moving. 10 feet. I looked clean. Prepping for fuel transfer. Why is the fuel pod so far away? It's down here, huh? Great. That looks ominous. You watch the fuel gauge. 150, okay. 160, okay. 200. You see her number one on. You ask for lab and you pull this down. It's a lot you get of... all that? Uh, should stuff be leaking? Oh. Hey, lab. Oh. Hey, lab. Can anybody hear me? Oh my god. Uh, New York, Stop Washington, talking. You know? uh oh. Okay. Shut down. Were you supposed to push something first? Oh no. You're gonna end up taking this Russian with them? Maybe. For lever! This is the lever! <laughs> yeah, right? We gotta fire the fuel pod! Yeah, fire in the fuel pod's like the worst place you can have a fire. Climb, AJ. Are we an earthquake? I think we're having an earthquake right now. I, oh, oh God. Everyone remain calm. <laughs> <laughs> remain calm. Earthquake detected. Drop cover. It literally alerts on our phones. Get up slowly. Oh. You literally have an earthquake in the middle of a freaking <laughs> hurricane? Jeez. We got men in the head door and we'll all die! They just locked them in though? I think they're closing off certain areas, yeah. They got the fire sealed in the fuel pod. They locked it down. Oh, they locked them in there. It's minus on the very calm. Hold breath for lung freezes! Jeez, lung freezes? I mean, at least he was stuck in there with the person that knows this ship inside and out. Right. Ooh. They're like ice cubes. 
Flight Independence does not have AJ. They're gonna close the door without him. Oh, they're so close. So that's the fuel pod, right? Oh, that was close. Oh my God. Jeez, that was last second. This crew is on board. We're even heavy one cosmonaut. They got 90% of their fuel. <laughs> they got 90%? So after all the craziness of that, we literally had- a, We just had an earthquake. We had an earthquake. <laughs> we started this reaction saying that we had a hurricane, which is true, and now we have an earthquake. So what's next, an asteroid? That's not. <laughs> Shuttles are ready for the burn around the moon. Radio contact terminated. Nine and a half Gs for 11 minutes. Damn, you're gonna experience that for 11 minutes? Yeah, I don't think any amount of flying they were doing is gonna prepare them for this. Hang tight. Panicking. Oh man, it's just peppering the moon. There it goes. You see that? Gotta not hit anything. This could get a little rough. Engaging invasive radar. Yeah, you gotta fly through all this shit. There's too much debris, we gotta peel off. Negative. Can't peel off. Ooh. Mayday, mayday. I lost main thrusters. Get them back up. We're gonna hit. Oh, you hit a little. It's like free falling. I can't get it on! Get that helmet on. Jeez! Uh -oh. I don't even know who's who. I think that was Owen Wilson. Oh, that was a body. When I touch this baby down, full reverse thrust. Fire! I do run, There's like no clean place to land either. So they're landing farther forward than they're supposed to. Right. Where's the other shuttle? You saw it yourself, right? They're gone. Just ask God to take care of our friends. Yeah, I mean, you still have to accomplish this mission. Or everyone's dead anyways. Nothing. Come on, watch. Oh, they can't get a hold somebody. of them? Of the uh, other one. Oh. I know where we are. Captain America here blew the landing by 26 miles. How the hell do you know that? Because I'm a genius. <laughs> You landed us on a goddamn iron plate. Oh, damn. Let's wheel out the remote satellite link. We need that radio. Oh, God, please tell me we still got one of them. Oh, you're right. They can't get a hold of anyone. Yeah, I think it was Independence that... Independence crashed. But we never saw... There was a couple of them that didn't look like they had, like, died. Oh, yeah, most of them got their suits on, except for the two astronauts. But, like, Owen Wilson went flying, and he, he had blood on his face. Yeah. But maybe Bear and AJ... Oh, the Russian. So he overshot by 26 miles. They didn't make it. So they got to be like 50 miles from each other. Could be. I'm so glad to see you, man. We got Bear. Is everyone good to go? So they got to get off of this metal plate to start drilling. Yeah, they need to get somewhere else to be able to drill. We've all seen broken drill heads before. Not after 10 feet. Yeah, right? Who do you want? Unpack the judge. The judge? You better be good because you made it 10 feet before it broke. Well, and then these guys are going to try from where they're at. I'll show you how we do things where I come from. Why does this have a gun on it? <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> Max, I need some more power down here. All right, bus. Throw it forth and drop the hammer. Oh. oh, are you all right? Oh. Blue to tranny. We'll have definite contact with the shuttle for only seven more minutes. Seven minutes? When do we lose the ability to remote detonate that nuke? If we've got the shuttle for seven minutes, we can remote detonate for an additional five. You have 12 minutes? Do you know what you're doing now? All I know is there's a beep on this thing, and I'm trying to get us there. <laughs> Follow the beep. We blew our first transmission. So how deep are we? I have an assessment report due now. What is our current depth? 10 feet. 57 feet. Maybe you can give us a hand with this transmission. They're sharp! Yeah. Is your update more important than the actual mission? 10 hours. Please advise. That's four hours past the zero barrier. Please advise. But you had your shot. You didn't do it. You understand me? You and your men are the biggest mistake in the history of NASA. What are you doing? You overshot by 26 miles. Right? But maybe we should wait until the... Same detonate. I've been ordered to override the system. Well, what is this? 
Secondary protocol. Backup plan? Drilling isn't working, and we've lost radio contact. Maybe for good. If we don't do it now, we could lose control, and we may never get it back. If you detonate that nuke on the surface, we waste a perfectly good bomb. Yeah, what is the strategy here? Why are there so many guns in space? I guarantee you, if you do this, you kill us all. The orders are to remote detonate in 30 seconds. Oh my god. The clock on that nine foot nuclear weapon is ticking. <laughs> yeah. They're detonating this thing from Earth. What do you mean Drop detonating? We are going the hole yet. Max Crock count. Get back to the show. Double time. Such a clusterfuck. Wassler, are you listening? It's Truman. Kill the up lake. Oh. Is that gonna stop the bomb? Maybe. Give us the time, Sharp. Shut this bomb down now. It's not my call. So he has the ability to shut it Ooh. down? I don't know. What are you doing with a gun in space? So you said. I know. There's so many guns in space. <laughs> Hurry up, man. What happened? <gasps> oh. They still need to get you off. You can figure out how to fly. Bought us a couple of minutes, so get that radio working, okay? Hurry, hurry. I need to cease and desist. I need your terminal now. Fuck. I've been drilling holes in the earth for 30 years, and I have never missed the depth that I have aimed for. I swear on your daughter's life that you can hit that mark. I swear to God I will. And let's turn this bomb off. Thank you, idiot. Red wire A. Ready? And now. Red or blue? Red. Hurry up! It's gotta come down to a second. Like two and a half. It's pretty good. But the fact that he cut it, can they use it again? Use it, you copy. See, I promised my little girl that I'd be coming home. We got a hole to dig up here. NASA's like, yeah! The other government's like, fuck, we didn't blow him up. I told you you took the wrong way, a wrong road. What road? Do you see any <laughs> roads around here? Shut the hell up! Have you ever heard of Evil Knievel? No, I never saw Star Wars. <laughs> We're 150 feet, Harry! <laughs> what? Like Dr. Strangelove. I was doing that guy from that movie, you know, Slim Pickens, where he rides it all the way in, the nuclear warhead. Yeah! A great movie. What did Watts tell you, Bear? If she kicked you in the ball, she'd keep floating. Yeah. They do need to come back down. <laughs> The jet thrust is off when we jump, and then okay. I'm gonna put them on. Go down nice and slow. <laughs> thrust up and thrust down. We're jumping over this camp. They're up. Ish. Okay. Whoa, wait a minute. Uh, can you can't really fly this thing. Up a little more. Uh oh. Oh, you're going way high now. Thrust is on. All right, turn them on. No. Oh no. I'm stepping outside. I'm saving your American ass. Wait, he's going outside, outside? Outside, outside. Well, he's got to put his helmet on. Oh, hold on, Russian. Pull the thrust up. Is he still on there? Yeah, he's still holding on to the front. No, he's there. Oh. Hold on, man. Jeez. I mean, that was pretty smooth. They landed in one piece. Where's Lev? No, I'm really a Russian hero! <laughs> Come, we didn't get any training on this thing. Oh, it is a gun. Oh, so much fun, it's freaky. Stop, what are you doing? Sorry, Harry. He's got space dementia. Space dementia? Oh. Shut it off! Shut it off now! We're gonna have a blowout! Man, get out of it! Bye, Max. Jeez. Damn, they just lost Max and the drill. Norad's tracking four small incoming over Europe. Oh. That was small? Damn, that was a small one. This took out Paris. Can they still take off? We hope so. That is my family up there, so I don't want to hear we hope so. Can you hear them? We're hearing something. There they are. Yeah! Run and go, baby! Harry! How are they going to get down? <laughs> You're not going to believe this, but the other armadillo has arrived. 
<laughs> hey, Harry. You miss me? I got just five words for you. Damn glad to see you, boy! <laughs> That's six words. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you think they can drill 250 feet in an hour? They better. Yeah, they don't have a choice. 250 feet to go. It's our last transmission, last drill. Yeah, I'm like, he better not be reckless with this transmission. Who's taped up? <laughs> Steve Buscemi. Oh. <laughs> Try to have some fun before I die. How deep are we? 770. Ooh. They're so close. Back it down. I can't pull back. I know what I'm doing. You just gotta trust me. Make the call. All right, hold on. I'm pushing through. I mean, you don't really have time to not push through. 785. Come on, come on. 792. Back through. 800. Eight You're there. Once they've got 38 minutes. So now they have 38 minutes to get the nuclear bomb down there and off. And then detonate. A bent pipe jammed in a hole. We gotta cut it out before we can send the bomb down. That guy had like a menacing look on his face. Yeah. Oh, what's going on now? I don't think this thing likes it. That's because it knows we're here to kill it. Oh. Hey, Jay, you are hurry up! Let a gas pressure here, man. Get me up! Oh, gotta catch him. Oh, 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 that guy's done. Sharp, you all right? I'm okay. I'm here, Harry. AJ? Yeah, I'm okay. We lost Gruber. Let's get that bomb ready and go home. Oh my God. Air. Is there a problem, Colonel? No, nah, the trigger's dead. It must have gotten damaged during the rock storm. How do we detonate it? Someone's gotta stay. The remote detonator on the bomb has been damaged. It means that somebody's gonna have to stay behind. Either we all stay and die, or you guys trust straws. I say we all stay and die. I, I know you guys think I'm crazy right now, but I would really like this responsibility. Not a shot. Yeah, he, he, AJ got the short one, right? We all gotta die, right? I'm the guy who gets to do what's saving the world. I'll take him down. I feel he's not gonna let him do it. Let's tell Grace that I'm gonna always be with her. Okay? Okay, kid. Hey, Mr. Truman. Oh, <laughs> just took out his oxygen. You go take care of my little girl now. Always thought of you as a son. I'd be damn proud to have you marry Grace. I mean, there was no way he was going to let him do that. Daddy? Grace, I know I promised you I was coming home. <sighs> Looks like I'm going to have to break that promise. I'm so proud of you. I want you to know AJ saved us. I wish I could be there to walk you down the aisle. I'll look in on you from time to time, okay, honey? I think she got one final video message with her dad. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I don't know. The American components, the Russian components, all made in Taiwan. <laughs> all Taiwan. This is a big problem in the Russian space station anymore. Just hit it with a wrench. <laughs> there we go. Come on, get some altitude. Let's go. Thank you, Harry. Oh. Uh... Zero barriers about to be breached. Ten seconds. Oh, one minute. Gonna close, Harry. <laughs> Split this bad boy in half. Jeez. The two halves are gonna miss us by 400 miles, and most of the small particles have been vaporized. All right, vaporize those small particles. Small particles that took out entire <laughs> cities. I hate flying, so it'd be an awful shame to die now. <laughs> it's easy for you to say. I owe a hundred grand spent on a stripper named Molly Mouse. <laughs> no wonder he wanted to die up there. We're heroes now. That incident with me and the gun on the asteroid, let's keep that under wraps, sir. <laughs> Don't tell anyone I lost my mind. Man, they lost so many people from when they were walking out. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> what got you? <laughs> the little boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the 
requesting permission to shake the hand of the daughter of the bravest man I've ever met. Hello, my Oh. <laughs> I want to have babies. <laughs> Harry wanted you to have this. Oh, that's right. All right. That was Armageddon. What'd you think? That was fantastic. Yeah, you liked it? Yeah, I loved that. There was so much action, which I anticipated. Yeah, a Michael Bay, I actually was gonna say for a Michael Bay movie, he found creative ways to cause action. Like, cause it wasn't like <laughs> fighting or anything, yet he still somehow brought guns into space. And then there was just so much shit going wrong up on the asteroid with it just like crashing into itself and stuff. So it was very action paced for essentially just drilling a hole. Yeah, I mean, there's not, there wasn't like any fighting. Right. But yeah, that was fantastic. Obviously with Michael Bay, we're seeing a crazy amount of explosions. I mean, <laughs> the very start of the film, like it, you hit the ground running. Oh yeah, New York just gets obliterated. I mean, we lose multiple places. Yeah. So there's a ton of destruction still, tons of explosions. Any excuse to blow something up, Michael Bay is gonna do it. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. So. We said at the beginning that we, <laughs> we are experiencing our first hurricane slash tropical storm. Which it really, it's just rain. I like, mean, right now it's just been rain. Obviously we're kind of in our little room. Right. But we got interrupted because there was an earthquake. First time, I think, filming with an earthquake. Yeah, yeah. First time filming with an earthquake for sure. So... That's just crazy timing. The fact that we're watching a movie called Armageddon and there's a hurricane, which I don't think there's been a hurricane in this area for like a very long time, like a yeah. hundred plus years or something like that. <laughs> and then to literally experience an earthquake right in the middle. And it was in the scene where the Russian space station was blowing up. So yeah. It's like all of this explosion. And then like, we're yeah, shaking we're like kind of like, rocking. I'm like, and the lights are like <laughs> swaying back and forth. And it's like, Oh no, an earthquake. It's like, you can't really stop and like drop and roll, even though that's a fire, I think. No, you'll stop under the desk. Yeah, you can't really get underneath the desk very well because no. you're pregnant. Yeah, so. our dog did not react at all. But anyways, it was a 5.5, not super close to here. Yeah, the last report we saw right before we continued, we stopped filming for a second, but then we were like, what the hell was that? I think it was a 5.5, yeah, a couple hundred miles away or something like that. No, not a couple hundred. Like a hundred miles away. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's still, it's, it rocked things. It rocked things enough for the lights to go back and forth. Yeah. So that was fun. Just. <laughs> Good timing. I feel like because of this movie, it just makes it funnier. Oh yeah. Hopefully everyone's okay. Obviously we'll check the news and everything once we're done. But back to the movie, this entire cast was stacked. Yeah. There's a lot of people in this. So many people where it's like, I think Owen Wilson, this was maybe when he was less famous or something. Cause when I first saw him, I was like, oh, cool, Owen Wilson. Again, like I've seen this movie, but I didn't remember anything except for the end. The only thing that I remembered going into this was that Bruce Willis stays behind. Mm -hmm. So that was all I remembered. Yeah. So I totally forgot that Owen Wilson was in this. Seeing him again, I was like, he must be a big part. And I, I didn't even believe that he died, but that's how big this cast is, is that you could have Owen Wilson for like five minutes and then he's just dead and we don't really go back to him or anything. Yeah, and honestly, I was extremely surprised because I thought AJ, Ben Affleck, I thought that he was dead the first time, which was on the Russian ship. Oh, like ship. that he wouldn't be able to get into one of the ships before, yeah. yeah. I thought they were gonna leave him and I was like, damn, like he did not make it very far into this movie, Yeah, but ends up making it very far <laughs> all the way back home. <laughs> <laughs> this movie has a, a lot of like classic close second calls, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, oh man, at the very last second, their spaceships pull away from the space station as it blows up. At the very last second, you know, they're able to stop the nuclear bomb from going off. At the very last second, he pulls the trigger to like blow up the meteor. It's like, it's it uses that often, but it's always fun, especially when you're in the mood yeah. for just like, 
a crazy adventure action type of movie that this is. Yeah. So I didn't know exactly what this film was about. And at the very beginning, you're finding out pretty much right away. It tells you immediately, yeah. Yeah, what's going to happen. So from that moment, I didn't understand how Bruce Willis was going to be connected to this. Right, because it's cutting between like NASA and like an asteroid. And then it's like on an oil, oil. ring. Yeah. And you're just like, what? What is <laughs> happening here? I feel like Liv Tyler and Ben Affleck were so cute together. AJ and Grace. I loved that Harry is very protective of his daughter. And it sounds like AJ too, because they've been around for so long. So it's like such a change in dynamic. Yeah. I loved that like family dynamic. And obviously it was hard for Harry to sacrifice himself. But as soon as he got in the elevator with him, I was like, he's not going to let him, especially for the sake of his daughter. Right. Yeah. He can't really go back to his daughter and be like, hey, your fiance sacrificed himself. Yeah. Great guy. Great guy. <laughs> you should have married him. <laughs> There's a few things that I know that... I'm not sure if they're true or not, but Aerosmith has the main song for this. Okay. So, so the band, and that's Liv Tyler's dad. Yes. Is by blanking on the name. Steven Tyler. Steven Tyler. Duh. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure Steven Tyler only agreed to do a song for this movie if they would put his daughter into the movie. Again, I don't know if this is fully true or not, oh. but I think this is like right before Lord of the Rings, which I then like a big thing for her was Lord of the Rings. Yes. So I think it went like this and then Lord of the Rings. And now like everyone knows who Liv Tyler is. Yeah. So I do think that that was a clever way that he got his daughter a role. And obviously, I mean, she's a really great actress. Yeah. That I've heard before. And then another thing is, I think I've heard Ben Affleck talk about this movie and be like, I was on set and I was talking to Michael Bay and I was like, Michael, this doesn't make any sense. Like, why is it easier and faster to train oil drillers how to be astronauts than astronauts to be oil drillers? I forgot exactly what Ben Affleck said Michael Bay's response was, but it was something like, shut the hell up. Like, we're, <laughs> like stop. We're, we're just blowing shit up. Like, it's not that complicated. I definitely feel like I this made a way better movie for the to send the oil drillers up in space oh yeah because it, yeah no it's such a better premise for a movie even if it just makes no logical sense and you have like such a fun cast of characters a little rough around the edges for some of them so i thought it was great the whole premise of it but that is hilarious that he would actually bring that up because yeah, ben affleck is obviously like i mean he makes oscar winning movies mm -hmm. so he would look at this script and be like what the fuck am i in <laughs> We also got to see Billy Bob Thornton. I think I had said when we started Fargo that we hadn't seen him on the channel yet. Yeah. And I don't think that I had really seen him in anything. Obviously he's Billy Bob, like everyone knows who he is. Besides I think Bad Santa, I don't think I could place him in any other film. Yeah, I know he's in Sling Blade, but I haven't even seen Sling Blade. Mm -mm. No, it's hard to place him anywhere other than Bad Santa, but now we have Bad Santa and Fargo currently on the channel and, yeah. and this. and. I mean, I love Billy Bob Thornton as an actor. Like he always does such a great job. Yeah, and clearly like only seeing him in now three things, he clearly has an incredible range. <laughs> oh yeah, right, Bad Santa, Fargo, and Armageddon are yeah. very much different characters. All very different. We're also seeing Michael Clark Duncan again from Green Mile. Right. So huge cast, Steve Buscemi. We've seen him in a ton of stuff, but most prominent for us would be obviously the Sopranos. That's right. Yeah, the Sopranos. I always think of Mr. Deeds. But <laughs> we have not watched that on the channel. But we've seen we've it. We've seen it. <laughs> Great cast. I definitely did not think that Steve Buscemi would just go crazy. Like immediately just, I, I thought he was just shooting like for fun up and then he lost control. But yeah. the fact that he was like legitimately just shooting at everyone and everything. I was like, what are you doing, dude? When he first started, I thought he was like thinking that he was like, oh, cool, like I'm doing stuff, but like that he didn't realize it was actually shooting anything. Yeah. But he just like absolutely lost his shit, which obviously he is a great like crazy or like losing his mind. But damn, like he lost it quick. Yeah, it was super quick, especially for like the genius yeah. of the crew. Yeah, really cool moments to see him. Be a genius. Yeah. Yeah, everyone on the cast and, and the crew and stuff, they had their great little moments or mm -hmm. their like really sad, tragic moments and stuff. And you lost a lot of people. Like you had a very similar shot of them all walking in the beginning. And then again at the end, and it's like, 
half, half or less or something. <laughs> yeah, no, it was bad. We lost a lot of people. Highlight also for me was Lev. <laughs> Peter Stormare? Yeah, Peter Stormare. Hopefully not butchering that. We've seen him in quite a few things, I think. He's in so much stuff, but I can never remember. Yeah, I don't know if I could, like, I can't think of anything right now, but I've seen his face. Oh yeah. But I feel like he was a great addition to the cast, just kind of as like the outsider, but he was part of the team immediately. Oh yeah, no, I mean, he helped the day multiple times. I mean, he's freaking hanging by a hook onto the armadillo as it's like flying through space. Yeah. So yeah, just wild situations, crazy moments. It has a lot of heart in terms of, you know, the family dynamic, <laughs> even with uh, Bruce Willis and, and Ben Affleck and Liv Tyler, it gets very emotional and stuff. And then it really hits you <laughs> out of nowhere. Yeah. It was just so sweet. Cause I was just kind of waiting to see his son, like have like the little like Sp spaceship, spaceship yeah. that he had given him. But obviously earlier for his mom to be like, oh, that's your dad after seeing him on TV. And then, yeah, I just thought it was so cute. Yeah, we don't know the context of that situation. I know, I hopefully it's not like something really terrible because she was like, the court said you yeah, can't see him. <laughs> you gotta stay away. But we know that a couple of these guys have like felonies and things like that that they talked about, so. That was a very heartwarming moment. I mean, there's plenty of beautiful moments and then to you know go around the world, because this is a global thing, mm -hmm. to see all of the people kind of sell celebrating and mm -hmm. stuff and you really do think of like sometimes it's critical to be like oh my god the government doesn't share information and stuff and then you have situations where it's like fuck if the government would have told people like hey you have 18 days left yeah how crazy would people go in 18 i have no faith in humanity that oh, people no. would be rational or calm for 18 it would be I, a nightmare yeah i would say it'd be like the purge it would be like the purge there would be <laughs> blood filling the streets yeah. if you had 18 days left to yeah. live. Yeah. So this is a situation where it's like, good job, government. You you hid the truth from the people just long enough. Yeah, but it was really nice that they got a glimpse into it before they went up because I felt like the morale lifter that they needed, yeah. especially for the drillers. They... This is a heroic moment. Like you're yeah. doing something. It's hard to grasp the concept that you're literally going to save the planet. Yeah. So having that little moment where all of the media was there and they're like, hey, if we are successful, like we'll be known or something. Yeah. Whereas like if they would have just succeeded and you know, that's a situation where it's like, okay, maybe the government's holding too much information. If they would have just gone up, succeeded, and like the general no population knew never knew, <laughs> then it would be like, oh, come on, like give them a little something. It reminds me of the uh, scene when they first show up to NASA with everyone. And it's really funny how uh, Bruce Willis comes down with all of the demands mm -hmm. of being like, um, some parking tickets, yeah. and they never want to pay taxes ever again. It's great to play with the different like agencies and civilians. Yeah, honestly, I enjoyed this so much. I thought it was fantastic, barring our little interruption. Yeah, something happened with the filming also. I could tell that the codes got all messed up. I'm not gonna know until I go back to edit to hopefully everything got recorded correctly. If not, I really hope that there's footage from the earthquake to the end. There's no possible way for us to go back and fix that or anything. So if this is fucked up, then it's just gonna hopefully maybe be at least audio or something, or the video will just cut short. And you after know, the earthquake, after the earthquake, you'll see us be like, there's an earthquake. And then you'll never see another video on this channel ever again. <laughs> so I have no idea what to expect once I go into editing, but hopefully it's all right. But that was a fun time. Yeah, no, that was great. So let us know if there's some other disaster flicks that we should check out. There's a lot more disaster flicks that were on the poll, and I'm sure there's a ton more after that. So it's always fun as long as you don't actually have real natural disasters going on at the same time. Yeah. But uh, this is cool. Yeah. So thank you to the patrons for voting for this. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.